Welcome to your reading, Sagittarius 2. At issue is the Six of Emotions in the Muse Tarot, which is the Six of Cups, which is Sun and Scorpio, but in this reading, I believe this is you. Wistfully wanting to reunite with your soulmate. I do believe this is also you. This is the Nine of Swords. It is Mars and Gemini. I believe this is you losing sleep, stressing, worrying, feeling a lot of anxiety. Why? Here, to clarify, I believe is some kind of a holdup. I rarely call the hanged man a wait, but I am here. It is a temporal pause, a temporal wait. Possibly for somebody to bring some emotion from their subconscious to their conscious. And of course, this could very well relate to a Pisces. Here are the three cards to describe the challenge. We have the Queen of Swords, the Chariot, and the Six of Swords. Both the Chariot, the middle card there, and the Six of Voices or the Six of Swords speak of, well, the Chariot of Fast Movement and the Six of Voices of Movement, but movement from a place of worry to a place of peace. That in combination with the Queen of Swords, I do believe that there were some harsh words that were said in the past, but, but you are past this, I believe, because of the card of the Six of Swords. I believe that what preceded this literally was the Five of Swords, which was an unfair fight, verbal fight, I believe, and now you are simply trying to move away from it. The problem is, I think, some harsh words. There's the Six of Swords in the regular deck. These people are trying to find some peace. They're, they're really getting out of Dodge in a hurry. They're leaving behind the mess that was in the Five of Swords. Notice how the swords are down in the boat. The swords being down means the fight is over. It's done. You know, the swords are very much, it's a passive in other words, you are finished the fight. That black staff that is being used by the ferryman is angled in such a way as to push you off the troubled side of the shore toward the more peaceful one. And of course, the sky is gray, indicating that it's passive. It's time for a passive approach for peace, calm, balance. Yeah, so I'm just demonstrating, this card did not come up in your reading, but when swords are upright, it's action. When they're down, you're done. Like, things are done. It's said. It's done. Done and said. So, things are done and said. You are beyond the peace. But there is the, uh, the horror in the Five of Swords, the arguing, the fighting. Two people were hurt. And, you know, they're now in the boat moving to a, a place of peace. The Five of Swords did not come up in your reading. I was just simply trying to demonstrate what I think happened before this. The, yeah, there's the chariot. So there's the, that could have been part of the, the harsh words that were used because remember the chariot likes to win. That's it. On physical planes, the man in that card likes to win. He's not very empathetic. He reigns in his motions so he can win. So he's very much like one of the characters in the Five of Swords, except, of course, no, uh, it, the Five of Swords doesn't compare to the chariot. And also we see the queen of swords in the challenge position, um, which means that challenging you is moving away, um, you know, distancing, transitioning from wanting to win and being harsh verbally. So to sum up, you've had a fight with your lover. <laughs> and now you're waiting for them to, to communicate with you. Now you're worried, you know, what is going on, I think, I believe. Or you may have actually physically moved away from them, and you miss them. You miss them. So now we're looking at what's running this reading subconsciously. <laughs> the cards certainly were flying out of both all decks during this reading. I'm picking up the cards at this point. 
So these, I believe these are mutual subconscious energies. There is the energy of the Eight of Wands or the Eight of Rods, the Eight of Staffs. It's Mercury in Sagittarius. It's the card of the first deacon of Sag. So this is why I think this energy is coming from them. It's the arrows of love. It's wanting to communicate in a new way. Uh, it's taking a risk and saying, I love you, because these are the arrows of love. That's taking a risk. Okay, that's the card of zero, alpha, and omega. This is a new beginning, a fresh start. Let's start over. Let's start a new soul journey. So I believe that this is coming from your person, this subconscious energy. Also, usually it's incoming for the querent. That would be you. You're the querent. So it would be coming from your person to you. Um, and it's very warm. It's uh, Instead of the type of communication that preceded <laughs> the, uh, this reading, they now want to communicate in a warm, straightforward way that hits the spot instead of um, in a passive-aggressive way. So now we're going to look at what is crowning your reading. So what is crowning this reading? What is the energy that is the most important in this reading? Hmm, I wonder what it is. <laughs> Guess what? It is... Drum roll. Get ready for it. Four, three, two, one. It's Sagittarius. It is the king of... Oh, they're muse of inspiration. Muses are kings. Um, inspiration is rod staffs, wands. So this is the king of wands. This is pure, mutable fire energy. This is you. So now I'm getting another card to clarify. It's beautiful that you're, you're, you're running your own reading and up there with you is, is, get ready. Who do you think's up there with you? It's a water sign. It's Pisces. So this, if you're not seeing a Pisces, um, it, what I think it is, is that this is this state of uncertainty that's hanging over your head right now. This will, will are they going to contact me again? Um, you know, are we going to communicate again? Uh, you know, the, you know at this point right now that this is your soulmate. You, there is a worry, anxiety, and stress for some reason. I think it has to do with harsh communication in the past. So I believe that's the issue. If it resonates, that's great. If it doesn't, um, you know, uh, keep watching because <laughs> another part of it might. So here we're looking at the recent past. So first comes the sun. All right. Now, you, all of you are probably thinking, oh, it's a Leo. No, I don't think it is. It could be. It could be, okay? Uh, especially given, <laughs> will you see what happens next? So I was trying to get a clarification card from, I believe I was using Star Tarot to clarify this. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'm using Star Tarot anyway to do the recent past. So I'm trying to get another card at this point as I split the deck. Watch what card I saw on the inside, and I couldn't help looking at it because it was kind of drawing me to it. And there you go. There's another card. Uh, two of Leo's major arcana cards are there now, so this could very well be about a Leo. However, what's, you know, so there could be a Leo in the recent past, but it kind of doesn't tie in with the rest of the reading. It's more likely that there was very strong love or something. Uh, that had come out, for example, that the person loved you, because there we have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So there may have been, in the recent past, an apology about the argument or the harsh words. Um, I don't know, uh, you know, the Page of Cups, Princess of Cups would suggest that, uh, and this, these romantic words coming in from the Knight of Cups uh, and the heart overhead with the Queen of Cups. However, I, I'm not sure. I think just in the recent past, you may have realized, that would be the sun, that, this, that there is a lot of love uh, coming from your person to you. And now, in the recent past, a realization also that you have invested, okay, because this is uh, Saturn and Taurus, it's the Seven of Pentacles, it's, it's a person 
who has invested time, energy, love, you know, money, something, and not gotten a return yet. So you may have given your all to your person. You may have made them a priority and they don't, didn't know that you did that. You may have done this for such a long time, for a year, two years, made your person a priority, uh, you know, while you yourself might have been very, very busy. And this person may not have deserved it, but you did it anyway. And you're about to move on. You're about to, if they don't do something, but I think they're going to do something. <laughs> yeah, so here, to clarify, we have you, temperance. So we have that along with Saturn in Taurus and temperance. And we have, sorry, the Ace of Cups there. So look at all the love in the recent past. It's incredible. And there's the Three of Wands. There's you waiting. For the information, for the communication, okay. So waiting, 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 waiting. If the love may already have been expressed, or you may have realized that it was there and it hasn't been expressed yet, but whatever there is, Sag, you have invested in this person. You made them a priority. You, you haven't seen your return yet for some reason, and this person's energy is not on the board right now. It's nowhere, but it's coming. Get ready. So we're about to do the future. And your person has not shown up energetically until right now. And it came in like a ton of bricks, but it, it's not an earth sign. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, it was just incredible, uh, the energy that came in. So your person, you really could be physically distant or absent from your person right now. But I, I don't think it's just absence. In that nine of swords in the center of the reading was feeling like something uh, was anxiety, okay? Look at this. All right, this is crazy. So this is a celebration. This is you getting together with your person, celebrating a feeling of camaraderie, the three of emotions. This is a, just such a joyous celebration. Um, there's more. Wait for it. So I was, you know, just getting more cards out to clarify the future. And up comes. So you know that was the three of, uh, of emotions, the three of cups. I'm now getting getting cards from the Star Tarot. And you're not going to believe what came out next. Sorry about the delay here. I just want you to see the, uh, I don't know if you can see the shuffling on camera, but yeah. So they came out, there were three of them and you're about to see them. This is just incredible. First of all, the Three of Cups again. So there will be something to celebrate. Uh, and, and there's you. And look, see the unicorn. Do you see that unicorn? I believe that something that you thought was impossible is possible. It happened. You're celebrating. Look at this. King of Cups. So this is your person's energy. And look at, he's so wonderful. When he came in, the look on his face there was like, you had to know I was coming. <laughs> So it's, yeah, and now I'm, now I'm figuring it out here. I actually had to delete the audio on the original recording because I couldn't believe that I didn't get it as it was going along. And then I finally, at the very end of the reading, got it. Sag, wonderful. Come back back.